For all of Panini's wrongdoings in the hobby, there is one thing that they do very, very right. There's always going to be a section of the baseball card collecting community that disagrees with me and needs their logos, but I truly, truly believe that Optic Baseball is one of the best baseball sets of the year, one of the most affordable, and one of the most fun rips. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? RGL in the house coming back at you with a brand new video and today we are checking out one of my very, very favorite releases of the baseball card year and it is 2022 Optic Hobby. This is a, a great product in my opinion, it's always been great. If you've ever followed this channel, you will know that in terms of the hierarchy of the Panini Chromium products, I value Optic above Prism and Mosaic and Select for all three sports that they produce cards for. And we finally have our Optic Hobby release. We did have first off the line a little while back. Amazing product, but it is a much different configuration with only 24 cards, everything numbered. These are a little different. And one of the cool things I like about Optic Baseball in particular is there is a little bit of a throwback to the 1990s. Now, some of you might not be dinosaurs. Some of you might be young don't remember or weren't there uh, to experience it but back in the 90s we had a little thing called hot boxes and occasionally when you bought a box at a Kmart or um, yeah really Kmart or like a, a grocery store um, I, all I can think of is Kmart I bet like KB toys and Toys R Us probably also sold them you would occasionally get a hot box I remember specifically the only hot box that I ever got in the 90s was a upper deck collector's choice where I got all gold you crash the games which was a game that you can send in and if your player scored X number of points kind of like the tops home run challenge of uh, nowadays you would get a special set of cards um, so we are looking for ultra rare neon and Fort Knox case hits also there are hot boxes and that's what I was referring to if we can get it to focus we have just had some of the worst focus uh, five hot or look for hot boxes featuring five autographs or 20 numbered prism so 12 box case every case is going to have one box with five autographs instead of two and also one box is going to have 20 parallels uh numbered parallels one per box or one per pack these are coming in at around 125 140 a box probably will stay steady at that price for a point they do or for a minute they do print a lot of this product i will tell you that so there will be retail coming i don't know when um but i would say with the affordability of optic hobby i would just go the hobby route i would try your luck try to get one of those hot boxes or just you know get yourself the guaranteed autos and try to find a bobby witt a julio rodriguez who has on card autographs in this product i've also seen jeremy pena has a sticker i'm also seeing holy cow what are we doing? What are we doing? What is going on? We're, we're, all, we're all over the place. All right, let's see if we can uh, actually rip this without a camera. As always, if you're new here, be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Thank you very much. First pack, so this is a good sign in our first pack. We have a numbered card. That does mean we could potentially have the hot box containing 20 parallels. We'll just have to see. Uh, we have the rookies Shane Boz, as I talked about a little bit in the first off the line video. I'm not a fan of uh, I'm not a fan of this design. I think it's a little too busy for optic. Uh, Nick Lodolo, Camila Doval, and our first numbered card is going to be Luis Gill, and that is going to be numbered to 125. So there are going to be a ton of numbered cards in this product. They will not hold their value the way that tops would, but as we've talked about. You know, it does come in at a fraction of the price of most Topps products. Uh, let's keep it on rolling. If we see another numbered card in this pack, that would be a sign of a hot box. Uh, I'm thinking we got an auto in here, though. So maybe the hot box will continue. That's Marcus Simeon, Brian De La Cruz. How about a bomb squad? I forgot about these. Bomb squad of Mike Trout. That's a sharp looking card. I love the inserts. You know, they're just kind of whimsical. Uh, they take a lighter approach with optic. They have every year. Um, so bomb squad of trout our first auto is going to be a Luke Williams Luke Williams our first autograph for the Phillies we were looking for uh, who's the other one Matt Veerling uh, who am I th I'm thinking I th isn't there another Philly this year I can't remember we've opened so much baseball and I can't remember man this focus I don't know I don't know 
Ever since I moved to the new place, the camera has not liked baseball cards very much. Luke Williams, wow, wow. Luke Williams, our first auto. Let me see really quick. Try to go like maybe that, maybe. Luke Williams, our first auto. All right, so we want to see another numbered card. I don't think we, so we don't have a, we don't have a serial number hot box or uh, a parallel hot box. Does not mean we can't have five autographs though. So we're still on the hunt. Jose Miranda, a rated prospect. That is right. Prospects are in optic. Rated prospects always uh, for the last few years, actually. I think even maybe going back to 2016, 2017 when optic first came out. And Royce Lewis, also a rated prospect. How long has this guy been a prospect? I feel like Royce Lewis has been a rated prospect forever. Keep it on rolling. Castellanos, Wilson Contreras, Giancarlo Stanton, and a mythical, mythical returning this year of Brandon Marsh for the Angels. I don't know if uh, 2022, if we're going to get an updated Brandon Marsh card of him on his current team, which would be the Phillies. Uh, Matt Olson, Fernando Tatis. We have Hans Kraus and a Lights Out of Shohei Otani. I don't know if I like that design. That's kind of weird. Lights out, and it's got almost, uh, not like a sepia design, but a lot, of, a lot of green on that card. Almost looks like the Hulk. Almost looks like the Hulk on that Shohei. Of course, thank you guys. A lot of you reached out. My boy Mitch Hanniger signing with the Giants, and a lot of people thought that I would be very, very sad about that. But truthfully, my two teams have always been the, the Mariners and the Giants. Uh, I've loved the Giants. My family's from the Bay Area, so I've always been a Giants fan of through the Barry Bonds era, the Tim Lincecum era, the Buster Posey era, the Madison Bumgarner era, the the three World Series dynasty team. So I am perfectly okay with my dude Mitch in San Francisco. I will uh, the the super collection will remain intact, and I will still be buying his uh, cards next year. That's gonna be a good one right there. We'll take that. Henry Davis rated prospect, but the bigger card in the box, or the bigger card in the pack, I should say. Wander Franco on the mythical rookie. Definitely take that. I'm happy with that. Probably going to end up being worth a few bucks. Again, $125 per box or so. And that's probably a $15, $20 card or so. Maybe maybe 10 Not a bad little hit right there. I'm starting to lose hope that the five autograph dream is probably dead at this point. Because we should have seen another auto by now. Uh, Corey Seager. That's going to be a lights out hollow of Josiah Gray. And then Yuri Perez. Let me know in the comments, are you going to be ripping any optic baseball this year? Are you just not a fan of the lack of logos? I get it. Uh, Jose Siri right there. Seth Beer. And yes, let's go. They brought Splash in. Splash from basketball. Now coming over to baseball. That is a splash of Ronald Acuna Jr. That means that there are Splash Golds. I love the Splash inserts. Man... Optic Baseball just gets it right every year. Just gets it right every year. A fun rip. The Judge right there. Royce Lewis. AJ Alexi for Texas. And then a mythical of Brandon Lowe. Looking for one more auto. Still looking for color. A gold would be fun today. Uh, Kyle Lewis. We have Diamond Kings of Pete Alonzo, the polar bear. Matt Brash and Goldie on the splash. Yeah, this is fun. This is fun. Of course, the Mets now with uh, the reuniting pair of Scherzer and Verlander, former Tigers, now Mets. We'll see what they can do. Our second auto is right here. Cade Cavalli on the rated prospect, Max Scherzer, Curtis Derry. And our second auto is going to be Juan Yepes on the rated rookie auto, and that will be purple. Purple is to 195 of 100 on the Yepes. Both autos on card. That's, uh, that's definitely a positive sign. Both autos being on card. We'll take on card autos. You know, Panini known for their sticker autos, but today we got a couple on cards. We like to see on card autos. Will be worth a little bit more, especially if Yepes or who's the other one? Luke Williams ever pops off. See if we can't see some big color in these last few packs or a Julio. Uh, Brandon Marsh on the rookie's hollow right there and a lights out of Shane Boss. Uh, Brian Reynolds, Diamond Kings of Joey Votto, Drew Ellis, and a bomb squad that is Marcus Simeon. Uh, you Darvish, uh, Fernando Tatis, we have Shane Boz on the hollow, 
and a mythical of Devers. Only one numbered card so far in this box. I'm a little worried. One numbered card, that seems a little low for Optic. Typically, you see two to three at minimum. Uh, Bryson Stott right there. We have Reese Hoskins. Uh, Mookie Betts is a hollow and Buxton on the mythical. A lot of mythicals. I wish mythicals were more rare like they are in um, like they are in Optic Football. They're basically quasi case hits how rare they are in Optic Football. Chris Bryant, Aaron Ashby, uh, Byron Buxton, and a lights out of Walker Bueller. We're down to four packs left. Obviously, the value has not been there in this box, but we are not one box result orientated on this channel. Um, we will be opening a ton of this stuff in our breaks, and we'll get some banger boxes, but I think I might have think I might've took a dud from the case. Uh, Diamond Kings of Mookie Betts, and Mookie Betts again on the mythical. I'm just very surprised by the one numbered card only. Only one numbered card so far. Clayton Kershaw, Tony Centillon, Tyler Gilbert, and Josiah Gray. Two packs left. Holy cow, where is our numbered stuff? Only one per box? That would be very, very un unoptic like if that's a word jose ramirez we have jason dominguez on the rated prospect hollow i will definitely take that and jeremy pena a rated prospect made it into the set but as a rated prospect not a rated rookie even though he had some pretty damn good rated rookie accomplishments this year so um yeah we've seen a lot of hollows but we have not seen a lot of numbered stuff i'm a little surprised by that and we are down to our final pack last chance for some magic last chance for a case hit here we go. Any color? Wow, we do have color. So we have a teal velocity. So two color only in this box. Two numbered color only. A splash of Matt Olson, Jonathan India, Spencer Torkelson, and what I would not give for this to be a J-Rod, but it's going to be a Reese near. Uh, Reese near it to 35, 15 to 35 on the rated rookie of Reese near. Uh, yeah, that was a little surprising. I'm not going to lie. Typically, we see three or more color per box from my experience of opening optic in mass the last couple of years through breaking uh we opened a ton last year we opened quite a bit in 2020 as well and yeah i'm a little surprised that we only got uh what was our other color the louis gill was our other color we got a lot of inserts we got a lot of hollows i will say that just a enormous amount of autos or sorry enormous amount of hollows as you can see just an enormous amount of hollows and a good amount of inserts as well. Good amount of rookies. But we were a little light when it came to the, the numbered stuff and a little light when it came to the autograph stuff as well. Um, so two numbered cards. We had the Luis Gill to one uh, to 120 or to 220, 125, and the Reese near to 35. Two autos, Juan Yepes and Luke Williams, and two pretty good hollows, a mythical wander and a Jason Dominguez. Overall, though, I don't think the value is quite here in terms of making our money back. Thankfully, the boxes are about 125, 150 a box or so. Maybe your LCS will have it even cheaper. Um, this is a product I love. It's a product where I do recommend that you open two boxes, three boxes to get a pretty good sample size. Also, uh, try to get one of those case or uh, one of those hot boxes in the case. Improve your odds if you open more from the same case. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Optic Baseball. I'm a big fan. I'm going to be ripping boxes off camera. Maybe I'll bring it back as a member exclusive video and just do another hour of baseball where I rip a full case of Optic Hobby. Probably not, but maybe we'll throw some boxes in as part of that video, which I got to record at some point. I want to do a follow up to the one hour of uh, baseball that we did earlier this year. That's going to do it for me. Take care. Stay safe. And we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.